Hey guys, so today is a lazy Sunday, so I thought I would record a video for you guys. So today I am going to be showing you my current favorites, and currently my feet are asleep, so if I'm like twitching, it's because it hurts. The first favorite that I have currently for this month is Max Turquatic Perfume. This smells absolutely amazing. It is so nice and refreshing. It has a citrusy note to it, so it's really perfect for spring. This also is a favorite because I got it as an anniversary present, so it also has sentimental value. I was told by the sales associate that this is supposed to sort of work with your pH balance to uh, make a customized scent. I don't know how true that is. The next two favorites are going to be eyeliners and I have been really digging the whole colored eyeliner, mostly purple. So um, the first liner that I have is the Marc Jacobs liner. This is in the color Jazzberry and please excuse my nails. They are rather horrible right now. And we have a talker over here. So if you hear meowing, it is my cat Johnsy. So. Um, I think he wants to lay in my lap. So this is the color Jazzberry and it is this color right here on the bottom. It is a really nice sort of burgundy red purple and I really enjoy this liner because it stays put for a long time. So um, pretty, pretty expensive. It's about $25 I think but definitely worth it in my opinion. I feel like it is a really great color. I don't see very many colors um, in other brands that are like this. And the other eyeliner that I have is the Avon let's see, Glimmer Sticks Liquid Glide Liner. And this is in the color Black Plum. And this is the top one here. And this one's actually really cool because it goes on like a retractable liner would. It's just a twist up pencil. However, it has the consistency of like a gel liquid liner, which is really cool. And if you hear a train, I am sorry. I live next to train tracks and it is inevitable that they will just be chugging along. But this is actually really great for beginners, I feel, because it has, it's not so foreign to, you know, a regular twist up or a regular um, sharpen pencil that you're not gonna kind of feel like, what is this, what am I using? Um, but it goes on really smoothly like a liquid liner would and it gives the effect of a liquid liner. So it's really great for people that aren't very comfortable with liquid liner dealing with it but want that look. And the next three favorites that I have are going to be blushes. I have been loving blushes. Um, just, you know, springtime, it's just really great to have really pretty blushes. So um, yeah, and I apologize if the coloring is kind of going in and out. I have the door open and the sun is setting. So the first one that I have is the Rimmel London Lasting Finish Blush in Mauve Cool. And as you can tell, this has been severely loved. I have no idea when I'm going to get to the bottom, if I'm ever going to get to the bottom, because I use this all the time and I have not hit pan whatsoever on it. So I really enjoy this. It's like the perfect sort of dusty rose color, mauve color, obviously, but it's just really pretty. It has this just really nice balance of sheen to it so it's not going to make you look like a disco ball but it is going to give you some dimension. Really enjoy that. The next thing that I have is the NYX Rouge Cream Blush in Orange and this is straight up orange. It is awesome. <laughs> um, this you really do not need a lot of. You, I barely stick my finger in this and it's enough for two cheeks so I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. And I'm, this I'm blending out like nobody's business. Look at how ridiculously pigmented that is. It's just really beautiful when you actually blend it on your skin. I'm going to blend it out a little bit here. Right there. It is just so beautiful. It, 
it's really scary in the pan and if you put too much on your cheeks it is going to be very intense so you have to be really careful with this but I will never run out of this this is a huge pot and it is so creamy I got this at IMAX when I went and it's still going strong it is not dried out knock on wood it is just amazing I highly recommend these NYX uh, cream blushes they are just so nice and they have a huge range of colors as NYX always does so yeah definitely check that out and the last blush that I have for you is the Hourglass Ambient Light. what is it? Lighting Blush? Yes, in Luminous Flush. And I know you've probably seen these all over YouTube, but they are all over for a reason because they are absolutely amazing. So this is what Luminous Flush looks like. It is absolutely gorgeous. And when they tell you to be really extremely careful with these, they mean it. If you can see, I have a little bit of a crack in my I don't know if you can see it I really honestly can't see it with the marbling but um, I barely hit my brush in there and it cracked so definitely be careful with these this is what it looks like I want to say that these are around 30 something dollars um, and the swatch actually doesn't do it very much justice but oh yeah it does okay so that's that right there. I have it on my cheeks today. Um, it's, and I don't know, I look kind of, look kind of shiny, but oh well. It is just absolutely beautiful. And Jonesy is on a scratching post right now. So if you hear that, that's him. If you have a chance to go out and get one of these, definitely do. So that is it for my current favorites. Um, I hope you enjoyed. And if there are any questions or if you want um, a more in-depth look to any of these items that I have mentioned, just let me know and I will get to it. So I'm going to try and really make time to make videos because I really enjoy making the videos. It's just I get really lazy or I get really nervous for some reason to put this up or to even be talking to myself by myself in my house. So I don't know what it is but I just get really flustered sometimes but I'm trying to get in the habit of doing these more often so that way I can be more comfortable with this so because I really enjoy it and I'm just out of practice so I am going to go and I'm actually going to be filming another um, video uh, that involves empties so I'm not sure which one I'm going to upload first but you will still be seeing this nice pajama top going on. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you later.